Welcome back, everyone. Well, look at this. Look at those chopping skills. That is Isaac Avendano making his crepes and his new restaurant, La Crepe Cafe. It's just been around a few months in downtown Reno. Welcome. Thank you for having us. Love the hat, love the Ray-Ban glasses. Thank you. So here's what happened. I went to a comedy show one night, Pioneer Underground. We walked out. We walked by this cute place called La Crepe Cafe. I walked in. Your manager, Jim, was so kind. Very good. And we had amazing crepes. And I didn't know that we had this place in Reno. So I thought, you got to come on the show. There's so many great restaurants making downtown Reno and Midtown so unique restaurants and shops and you guys are one of them so tell me you brought in a couple popular things and I this is full of Nutella that's right About 30 pounds I'm just I'm done <laughs> like I'll just take the Nutella and go okay so this is what I had I had and this was a, several weeks ago so this was before I really started watching the weight. But anyway, <laughs> this one, tell me about it. Popular seller. You have savory and sweet. We do. Um, mo most people, when they think of crepes, they think that they're sweet. So obviously, we sell a lot of the sweet ones. This is our highest selling one we have. It's uh, called the Romeo and Juliet. Mm -hmm. It's uh, Nutella, bananas, and strawberries. And you said your sister-in-law, because this is a family business, your yes. sister-in-law got this recipe from Paris. Yes, yeah, she did. The crepe she, recipe. Yes. Uh, she actually, she, we, we're all from Reno, mm -hmm. and uh, she moved to Paris like in a student exchange kind of thing, and she would visit the, the same crepe place almost every day, and uh, she got to be really good friends with the owner, and on her last day there, the owner gave her a slip of paper and said, this is what you've been eating, just don't open any here. You said that, now is it crepe or crepe? The, the proper way to say it is it's crepe. crepe. Okay, I but should know that. I if I say if I say time. crepe, uh -huh. people look at me no, funny. What? Yeah, okay, so we just so say crepe. Le crepe cafe. Yeah. Okay, now this is interesting too because if you're not a sweet lover, dessert lover, this one is like a whole dinner. It's oh, yeah. basically a savory crepe. Tell me what this one is. I imagine you've got. Um, why can't I think of that sauce? Pesto. Pesto, duh. That's right. Okay. Uh -huh. Tell me what's inside. It's um, it's uh, mozzarella, shredded chicken. Uh, grape tomatoes and homemade pesto sauce. We make the pesto sauce beautiful. from scratch. Now tell me how many dis different recipes do you have because I looked at your menu and went, oh my goodness, how am I going to make a decision here? Yeah, I that's, wanted to try both kinds. That, that's the toughest spot of coming into our spot. It's, it, there's a lot to choose from. I would say there's uh, approximately about 20 of the sweet ones and about the same in the savory. And it's always changing. We keep the, the favorites. Like This will never go away because people will go crazy if it, if it mm -hmm. does. And uh, that one is also one of our best-selling savory crepes. But it, it, it's, we do specials every month. We try new things. Mm -hmm. um, this month we're doing a, a homemade custard with banana. Crepe. So we're yes. Okay. So we're always adding new things to the to the menu. And I also like it because it's a place you can stop by and have a quick breakfast. But again, you're supporting a local business. You're in a great little location, not right by La Familia and next to Pioneer Theater. Yeah, I like to call it uh, Reno's Little Europe. I like it. Uh, yeah, you're right because you have Fuego, Spain, Spain, and La Familia, Italy, Italy and, and you guys. That's a France. great. I love it. I, know, I want so to put clever. a big. <laughs> little flag on top there. Isaac, a pleasure meeting you. Thank you so much. Amanda. Isaac from La Crepe Cafe. Thank you. Thank you guys. A Las Vegas gambler lost half a million dollars but